This is the Prezi app. To create a Prezi on the iPad, in the upper right corner is a blue button that says New Prezi. Give your Prezi a title. Add a little explanation. You need to decide if you want it to be public or private. Um, if you sign up for an educational account, you can make them private. When you begin your Prezi, you get a grid. Okay, and on the right side, the toolbar consists of two buttons, text and picture. Okay. I've already started a Prezi, so I'm going to go ahead and click Edit on that one. You can see that we've started a summary, putting transition words to pictures from a story. Okay, so you choose a picture. You use it. Okay, you can resize the picture, bottom right corner. And then I'm going to move it over out of the way. And if you want to turn it, bottom left corner. Okay, I'm going to add my text. And my transition word. resize it, and put it with my picture. So now I'm able to present my summary of the story. To present my Prezi in the upper right corner, it says present. So I'm going to click present. So you can see I've got my Prezi. I can move it wherever I want. Okay, to have the picture walk forward, you just double click it. And I've got my summary. Double click it and it goes back where it belongs. Okay, if I double click the picture, double click the words, and then double click, it steps back out. And in this way, students can go ahead and present their summary of the story. I do want to point out that if you want to create the presentations online and just present them on the iPad, they do have different templates you can use. Uh, you just pick a template and you just fill it in exactly the same way that I just showed you on the Prezi app. So it does make it more interesting, but it is definitely doable on the iPad. And that is how you create a Prezi on the iPad.